there and welcome to the channel and in this video we're going to be showing you how to grow Echium Pride of Madeira from seed. Now unfortunately in this video I made a schoolboy error because I actually believed what I read from a supplier and uh, what I'd like you to do is uh, tell me what that error was and I'll even give you a clue. The clue is this. Candy cans. So we have the things we need here. We have a packet of seeds of uh, Echium pastuosum. Now you probably recognize the name Echium. That's, that's where we get the giant tree Echiums that we often grow here. Although the last couple of years, we've not actually managed to get them through the winter as we have done in previous years. But we're gonna try these today. And if you're not familiar with this one, it's a, it's a gorgeous, really dark, rich blue. Grows to about 1.2 meters tall and commonly known as the Pride of Madeira. So, like the triachiums, this comes from the Canary Islands. They're very easy to grow. All we need is the seeds. And instead of regular seed trays, I'm gonna use modular seed trays, simply because they don't like the roots being messed about with when you're transplanting. So if I'm using a uh, um, modular seed tray, I can just pop out an established root ball, whereas if I was using a regular seed tray, I would then have to prick them out and the very essence of doing that is gonna move the roots around. And as Charles Darwin used to say, the roots of a plant are akin to its brain. So you wanna get yourself a nice friable seed compost. It's a bit windy today, so I'm just gonna secure that in my pocket. Uh -huh. There you go. It's very difficult to get hold of some <laughs> decent um, multi-purpose compost. So what we've done, we've got this one, which is a, uh, we should join this, and it's made a much nicer. It's, it's much nicer, isn't it? I know, it's still a bit yeah. junk in it, but it's so much nicer. The quality's better, isn't it? It really, really is. So uh, I'm just going to start with one tray, because I don't actually know how many seeds in the packet, because it's not written on it. Two. Uh, we can do that. <laughs> Okay. Right, we don't plant these very deep. We plant these only a few millimeters below the soil. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just dip a tiny hole in the middle of these pots. I'm gonna put the seed in it. Then I'm gonna put a very fine surface of soil on it. And then I'm gonna to top that off with um, some Alpine grit. The reason why I'm putting on the Alpine grit is so that when I come to water in it, you know, you can be as gentle as you like, but if your seed is only like two, three millimeters below the surface, you're at risk of just lifting it up. Or it flight to the surface so I'm going to put the uh, the gravel on top so first okay. we're going to dip it just a very slight dip all right just make sure I'm not going to lose any stuck at the top of the packet oh, that's a look. let me show you So there you go, Echium fastuosum seeds. Mm. Yeah, let's get them out. They are small, aren't they? Yeah, they are small. Do you know what? I am also inclined just to chuck a few of these as they are onto the boulders because, no, you don't want me to do that. Oh, I'm too scared. Well, because they, the Echium pininana, which is your tree Echium, yeah. they just self so so they so do, ready with no I'll, help whatsoever. I'll come along and weed them. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Right, okay. You have to put them somewhere really high, like <laughs> where that is. Right, it's a bit windy. Yes. So I've got to be quite careful that I don't. These don't blow up my hand. Okay. So, so. Right, so it's a very slight uh, surface level of more compost. Compress that in. And a light layer of grit. Okay, grit. 
hold on a minute, hold on a minute. I've got something important to say. If you've enjoyed this video or just find some of the information in it useful to you, then consider clicking on the like button. That way it makes it a lot easier for YouTube to find other people who want to find that information. Anyway, no further ado, let's continue finding out what old boiled butt has to say. Okay, and that's effectively all I need to do with regard to um, getting it into the uh, compost. All I need to do now is water it. And it doesn't go into a greenhouse because it's going to be too hot in here. It needs, doesn't need to be too hot. It needs to be in full sun. Um, because if you imagine, you know, the conditions that they would have in the home environment of Madeira, it's going to be quite nice mild temperatures, mild overnight. Uh, sunshine all the time so we need light and we need mild temperatures so greenhouse would be way too hot for it um, I mean we are in July and you can sow these any time between May and July um, they can get quite warm here in the UK but uh, at the moment we're quite lucky if you can call it lucky it's been very cool mm -hmm. it's not been very warm at all in fact Lorna was under a blanket earlier today because it just <laughs> hasn't been warm enough. So temperatures are skipping around Summer for you. 20, 21 degrees anyway. Yeah. So you could argue it's perfect temperatures at the moment. Um, so all I'm going to do is water it. I'm going to leave it outside and place it in full sun. Mm -hmm. I'm going to re-water maybe once a week because I do want it to dry out before re-watering again. And really, fingers crossed, depending on how fresh these seeds are, we should get germinating between about two weeks well, three weeks really, as about as early as you'll get, three weeks, and uh, and up to about two months. So it's a regular germination. They're not all going to germinate at the same time. It'll be a regular. You might get a few starting in a few weeks, and then you'll get odd ones that will continue to germinate uh, as part of that cycle because it's, it's a good system of uh, survival to uh, stagger your seed germination. So we'll water it in. And as you can see, the soil isn't really being disturbed underneath, so all the seeds I put in there should still be in there. Fabulous. So, all we need to do now is wait, and we'll come back once they start germinating. Anyway, it's time to go forward in time. Well, I'll tell you what, it's been three weeks since we sowed those uh, Prada Madeira seeds and um, after just two weeks we did have a couple of seedlings come up let's go and have a, a look and see where we are with them today which is three weeks on from when we originally sowed them well look at that we've got um, that one come up really early this one came up really early and then uh, just in the last day or so we've had uh, this one come up too but I, I won't leave it there um, we'll come back in a couple more weeks and then see where we are then and then we'll finish the video at that point two weeks later oh, there you are well the weather's certainly changed I mean it's done nothing but rain for them the past few days and got rain due and more rain tomorrow anyway this is what you want to see look at that these are actually doing quite nicely now and this one probably going to be potting on the next week or so now we haven't had any more germinate or emerge than the original three that we mentioned but that doesn't mean that others won't because echims are notorious for sequential germination you get a few now get a few in the autumn maybe next spring possibly the spring after that it just takes a long time so i'm really pleased that we got three so there you go all in all i think that's a success we'll get these potted done i'll overwinter them in the greenhouse i'll get them planted out properly in their final position uh, this coming spring and then we can follow their journey and hopefully they'll flower because those flowers are amazing i'm going to leave it there and before i go i'm just going to uh, press play on the older outro music and with that i'm going to say goodbye but if you've got anything you'd like to add any great information then leave that in the comments we'd love to hear from you and before i go there's just one last message from me from the past Right now, just before you go, if you want to see more content, more behind the scenes stuff, and uh, 
images that I've taken of some weird freaky plants over the years, then uh, you're in luck because we've created an Instagram page. So uh, you can find the link in our description. You can find the link on our main page. And if I'm clever enough, I might better get a link somewhere up there. Anyway, thank you for watching. And uh, if you want to see more YouTube stuff, then uh, check out this video here. That's quite a good one. And if it doesn't float your boat, then uh, another one right there. And uh, enjoy these while I've still got the strength, imagination, and aptitude to make them. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.